In this video, we are going to be looking at the difference between, difference between simple bar chart and component bar chart. Uh, you know, bar chart is, is a way of uh, uh, representing figure or data in a perpendicularly drawn, you know, bar. So that is what uh, bar chart is all about. But today we'll be looking at the difference between bar chart, simple bar chart, and the component bar chart. Then, can you tell me the types of uh, bar charts we have? I'm listening. We have simple bar charts, component bar charts, and multiple bar charts. Now, but today we are looking at the difference between the simple bar chart and the uh, component bar chart. Now, let's take it now. Simple bar charts. This difference, this, this this striking difference between the striking difference between simple bar chart and component bar chart is that the simple bar chart has one quantitative variables why component bar chart has two or more quantitative variables you will get what i'm saying now let me give you this data now let me give you this data. let's say this is name names of students of students and i have their scores here i have their score their scores here okay are you getting just be following now i can have I can have Coker, I have Uche, I have Mike, maybe in an, in an example or text, I have Mike, or uh, then I have, uh, okay, let me just have them study like this. Then, Coker score 50, then, okay, let me, let's make it a test. Coker score 5, Uche, let's say 4, Mike, 3. Now, look at this very well. How many variables do I have here? Yeah. I have just two variables. Can you tell me that two variables? Okay? Names of students and score. Now, this is the data, of course. This information given. Now, is it one quantitative variable or two quantitative variables? This data. Is it data of one quantitative variables or two or more quantitative variables? Because I've told you that you must be able to identify the number of variables for you to know the right bar chart you are supposed to use. Do you understand that? Now, we have name of students. Name of students, you cannot sum up name of students. Name of students is a qualitative bar chart. Why? Because a qualitative bar chart is just a, 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 an item of value or, or a variable that cannot be summed up. Names of students, you can't sum up the name, but scores, you can sum up the score. So, score is what? Quantitative variable. So, in this data now, you have one quantitative variable. Out of the two, you have only one of them that you can sum up. That is scores. So, when you have one quantitative variable like this, you, of course, you must use simple bar charts. So, let me just do the rough, you know, the sketch for you here. Let's assume you have something like that. And always note that. The quantitative variables, the one you can sum up must be on the y hat is here. You can see it here. So I see this is my score. Score. Then I can make it, you know, in your graph, you have box like this. You have box. You have box. You have box. You have box like this. In your graph. On your graph, right? Now. So I can just say, okay, you need to have a scale. Scale. Then your scale, it depends on the value you have. You know, let's say two centimeter, from here to here, sorry, two centimeter, equals to two units, to two units. So it means that two centimeter equals two units. So I can start from here, two, this is four, this will be six. So I have the origin zero. So my names, names of students will be here, names, uh, students, this is for is it quantitative or qualitative? This one is it quantitative or qualitative? Did you say qualitative? Yes, that's correct. Qualitative. This could use quantitative. Don't forget quantitative score. So I can start from coca. From coca now, coca. I take this. Uh, what is that? Five. So this will be my this five four. Five will be between the average, the uh, middle of. 6 and uh, 4, so it's going to be here, somewhere here. So I can take Coker from up here, I trace it up to here, and I make my bar, 
Then I draw it down. So this represents coca. Coca. Then you leave a space, come to who again? Uche. Uche. What is Uche? Four. So it's somewhere here. So I take it up. So four. So four. Take my bar. My bar. I take it down. That is for Uche. Okay, I need one more, right? Okay. Okay. So I can have. I can have my. The last one, Mike, here. M, Mike. So three. Three will be between two and four. Average. So I just have Mike here. Yeah. That's all. That's all. That is simple bra chart. Simple bra chart. But let's now look at that of. Let's look at that of uh, component bra charts. When do you use component bar chart? You use component bar chart when you have two or more quantitative variables in a data. When you have what? Two or more quantitative variables in a data. Quickly, let's assume we have a uh, We want to look at revenue of, of different countries. Let's say we have revenue, revenue of some selected countries, of some selected countries, countries. Okay? So let's have name of country here. Country. We have revenue. Let's say for our Greek sector now. A Greek in million dollar. We have our what again? Let's say other sector. Other sectors. Other sectors. Then okay. Let's say Nigeria. We have Niger. We have Ghana. So can you tell me now? Okay, let, let me give the value of this. Let's say this is 4.5. Let's say this is uh, 2. Then let's say this, this is uh, uh, let's say this is 3. Let's say this is 2. Let's say this is Ghana. Let's say this is 3. Let's say this is uh, uh, 3. It's just a hypothetical figure, of course. Now, can you tell me now, is this, how many variables do we have here? Because that's the first thing you need to identify. How many variables do we have here in the data? We have country, agri, and other sectors. So make it three. Then you now ask yourself, is there only one that can be summed up out of the three variables? So if we have just one to be summed up, that means we are going to use simple bar chart. Okay, let's see. Country, can we sum up country? No, this is qualitative. Okay, a Greek revenue of a Greek. Of course, we can sum up revenue of a Greek for each of the countries. Then, what about other sectors? Can we sum up the revenue of other sectors? Yes, we can sum it up. So we have quantitative, quantitative. Meaning that this is two quantitative variables. It means we cannot use simple bar chart for this. So we are going to use component bar charts. But if you want to use component bar chart, you must have, you must sum up, you must sum up the the two quantitative variables that are there, so that we can have 4.5 4 plus 2 must give us the final answer. Always sum it up for component factor. So now we going to do now, you can say, our Greek revenue for our Greek and revenue for uh, other sector, we had it where we give our GDP for the year. GDP, or we say total. Total. That is total, right? It's total. So we are going to have, four. this is going to give us 6.5. This is going to give us 5 million. This is going to give us 3 because it's a million. Three. So, what you have to sum it up. Sometimes they can give you all of this. They can give you total. But if you are not giving total, please always try to sum up the two quantitative variables and have their total for each of them, for each of the country. Now, we have identified that it's two quantitative variables. So, what do you do next? What you are going to do is don't forget when you are dealing with. Quant uh, uh, Component bar chart, you must be able to do what? <coughs> Excuse me. Don't forget that the bar representing each of the quantitative variables is placed on top of each other. So, we are going to draw now. Let me just have the rough sketch here. Like what we did the other time. So, we have you now a graph we have on this, on our graph. We have this on our graph. We have this on our graph. We have this. So let's have it like this. Let's have it like this. Let's have it like this. 
this way. 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 So you have the origin. Don't forget, I told you that this y axis must always be what? Must always be for your uh, quantitative variables. But you are not going to use each of them here. You use their total here. Please note, you use the total here. So we say this is GDP total. So, so we have, then we have the names of the country quantitative variable here. So let's say uh, Nigeria. Nigeria. Nigeria now, we have 4.5 for the first one. Okay, let's have, let's say 2 centimeter. From here to here is 2 centimeter. Let's say 2 centimeter equals 2 units also. So this is 2, this is 4, this is 6, this is 8, this will be 10, this will be 12, this will be 14. Okay, now are you following please? So what are you going to do now? So take it now from the beginning, 4.5 for Nigeria. It starts from 4.5. So take it, draw to 4.5. 4.5 will be so 4.5 will be somewhere. This is going to be 5. 5. So 4.5 of between 5 and 4, we have 4.5. So 4.5 is going to be somewhere here. So for Nigeria now, we can have our 4.5 here. Our bar will be here. Our bar will be here. So we, we had 2 to it. If we had 2 to 4.5, it's going to give you 6.5. 6.5, right? So meaning that, do you understand? This is 6.5 here. So when you do the first one, go and check the total, which is 6.5. Go to the total. This is 6. This will be 7. The average here will be 6.5. So this is going to be around. This is going to be 7. The average here somewhere here will be 6.5. So we have the total here. The total here. The total here. The total here. So this is our what? This is our bar representing figure of uh, Nigeria agri and other sector revenue. That's for Nigeria. That's for Nigeria. So don't forget, you see what we did here? We placed, we placed, we placed the bar on top of each other. The bar representing this, place it on top of, the bar representing other sector, place it on top of agri. So, and now do you know, you need, now you need to give a kind of indicator. So, indicator now. Indicator. So, you can make this one for a week so that it will not model up. Then, you make this one, blank one, for other sector, for other. So, for a week now, from here, I'll use this indicator. For a week, I'll use this indicator. So, I know, anybody see it from here to here means for a week and the rest is for other sector. Then if I quickly, if I want to do that for Nijay also, I will look at Nijay. The first one, I click three. I will go for two. This is going to be middle, three. So this somewhere here for, I leave a space here for three. This is uh, which country? Nijay. Nijay. This is for Nigeria. So Nijay, three. For a Greek, and I will indicate that it's for a Greek. This, you have to put the indicator there, I agree. So from here upward to what? To the total, the higher, the total, which is five. So I make it here. Five should be somewhere here. Five here. So then that is how I do that. And you can do the Ghana yourself. Then that is how to do a uh, component bar chart. Please subscribe. In the next video, I'm going to show you the difference between component bar charts and multiple bar charts.